Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, fix an issue with the Nokia X3 blinking when you try and turn it on and the phone is blinking as you can see over here. So it stays on the Nokia logo for a couple seconds and then it goes black and then it comes back up white and as you can see here it doesn't turn on. So what you need is a phone, a USB cable similar to this and a computer, um, one that has uh, Nokia Infinity Best or pretty much anything that you can use to flash a firmware with. So, um, first what I'm going to do is plug one end of the USB into the phone. Um, So, you'll see why I do that later. And then, over here, with Nokia Infinity Best, you need to get change this to the model of the phone. In this case, this is the RM540. You can find that out by uh, taking the battery out of the phone. And so, I'm going to look for the RM540. So, yeah, there you go. And... MCU, you should find the um, MCU files, you can easily find them, and one thing to note, the MCU files should be the latest version, or at least the version after um, the firmware that the phone was originally on, otherwise this will not work, so it's best to go with the latest version of the um, firmware, um, PPM1, um, should be this PPM file over here, and the CNT uh, one should be this dot image file over here. And um, check this, uh, the dead mode. And check uh, factory reset, otherwise, uh, um, otherwise it won't work. And everything on the phone will be deleted. So all your contacts and messages... And stuff like that. So it'll be exactly like how it was in, uh, in the factory. So I'm going to click on flash. And then I'm going to insert the USB um, cable that was plugged into the phone, into the computer. Uh, if I can do that. I'll start it upside down. There we go. Now it's... Um, flashing a firmware onto the phone as you can see over here so you, you're gonna have to wait for this to sort of do its thing um so so currently it's processing the mcusw file um that's basically for the firmware Now it's doing the PPM file, which is basically the languages of the phone. So that's what that is for. And now it's doing the dot .image um, file. So it's basically the content of the phone. Um, basically when you type in star hash 0010 hash, that's basically what that is, as far as I'm aware. And then once it says flashing done, you'll see a white screen on the phone and then come back, then it'll come back off. 
So what you're gonna so what you're gonna do is unplug the USB. Um, hang on, I'm just gonna set my camera back up. So take the battery out of the phone and put it back in. And then I'm gonna turn the phone on. Now, as you can see, the phone is working. And by default, it will ask you to set the date and time. So today's the 21st June 2020. By default, this is 24 hour format. So it's currently 6 um, 50. Time zone, do that saving, all that stuff. And now the phone should be working again. Keep in mind the phone is now reset back to factory settings. So everything that was on the phone previously are now deleted. Um, so that's a consequence of this happening. So um, yeah, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.